I want to clear a few things up. Trump supporters are lying about his latest indictment and making false equivalencies. Biden did not indict Trump. A grand jury made up of ordinary Florida citizens indicted Trump after deciding there was sufficient evidence for him to be criminally charged. No elected official has ever been accused of anything remotely on the scale of what the former president has been charged with. Trump allegedly took top secret national security documents, including nuclear secrets, stashing them in unsecure places, showing them to various people, conspiring to hide them from the FBI, and lying to the FBI about them. This is unlike anything we have seen. No, she did not. She cooperated with an FBI investigation into her use of the emails. And then FBI Director James Comey, a registered Republican for most of his life, said no reasonable prosecutor would bring a case against her. Again, no. Biden did almost the exact opposite. Instead of hiding classified documents from the FBI, his own team reported them, and Biden has cooperated with the FBI's probe of the matter. In contrast, Trump allegedly refused to return classified documents when asked about them and tried to prevent investigators from discovering additional classified documents he had in his possession. Among the key witnesses in Trump's indictment appear to be members of his own inner circle. It's a similar situation to the January 6th committee's investigation where the most damning testimony came almost exclusively from Republicans. The truly dangerous precedent would be to establish that presidents cannot be held accountable for alleged crimes. But remember, there is nothing radical or partisan about holding political leaders accountable for their actions. We cannot have a free democracy if a president or former president is above the law.